Okay, let's finish with uh, Lask churches from the late 90s, early 2000s. We looked at this wonderful away shirt here, which came in in spring of 99 and was used to find the whole 99 2000 season. And I said that there was um, originally a white away jersey with just one black stripe. But come 99, after the successful cup final, and you know, Lask seemingly having some traction, not really, but uh, it was not all going downhill. Puma seemingly wanted to not just push a template and we got a black and white jersey, which again was a template. It was a template that uh, actually also Lazio used, not in the championship season, but in the next one, the 99-2000 season, which was for Lazio, it was with uh, light blue and white stripes. For Lask, it's with black and white stripes. Now, um, at first I thought, yes, but not quite. Um, and I still remain, this the striping is a little bit too white. This is what I call Barcelona striping. To me, a uh, Barcelona jersey has this kind of stripes, uh, the white one, the wider ones. Uh, I rather like that the crest determines the width of uh, stripe. The next one is I like black center stripes, but I think in this case a white center stripe works slightly better because I think with black I think you would you would have your two white holes. So it's not that perfect um, if it was the other way around. So I think I'm okay with the overall design. What absolutely fascinated me was the was the color. Uh, when I first saw it, this color never made much sense to me. If you look at it from a distance, you know you see the kind of v-neck that's kind of combining here but then you have the black collar with the two white bands and then kind of a grayish area if you look at it from afar um, and going back to the Lazio, Lazio had actually this was uh, blue white and then there was golden because they were champions last year had just gray and I was once, once wondering well, could, could it be a red that would have looked better why do we have the gray here and then look at it up close. It is there's no gray whatsoever. It's all black and white dots. Kind of a cool, cool pattern that actually gives the shirt some character that I don't think it would otherwise have. Uh, if you look on the back side, it's just a black and white color. So, and uh, for the 2000 2001 season, they basically retained this shirt with one alteration, the collar. became a white collar with just uh, two black stripes here. There was no, no lattice pattern here in the middle. Um, but in this shirt, I think we finished a respectable six, seven, six, again, uh, it was, you know, not a great finish look. Look, but the season was actually a decent one, uh, but also it was also, maybe after that season, we lost some other really good players, players that stepped up, they were not in the first team in 98, that played very well uh, and got even close to the national team, not quite, but were solid players in the Bundesliga and uh, solid enough that other teams wanted to have those. Talking Jürgen Katz, I'm talking uh, Klaus Rosiano, I'm talking Markus Weissenberger especially, who has been with Lask for ages was even in the first team and yeah there was no way we could keep him he went then to germany to bielefeld and uh, had like actually a good career in germany i think he went to 1860 munich and ended in frankfurt would have made the 2008 euro squad if it would have been for an injury and that actually ended his career but he was a really really great player and with a different national team coach, I'm absolutely convinced that he would have been an absolutely regular already at the 98 World Cup. Um, he, he was a blatant oversight, and this was just because Lask didn't have any traction as compared to the other teams. Now let's look at some other specialties in this shirt. I mean, you can see the sponsors kind of washed out, and unfortunately uh, this is because my aunt washed it a little bit too hot. Yes, uh, I don't mind it that much nowadays, but I still wish this was the last, uh, that every, everything was white. Um, we have, of course, the Bundesliga logo. This became T-Mobile very soon after. 
Uh, the last clue obviously don't like now it makes a whole lot of sense and the puma logo centered I think this arrangement makes a lot of sense uh, there's unfortunately a stain I think this is from a bicycle chain the uh, oil because look at that I don't know if they are here and you can see it a uh, black spot that I don't get out the back is rather spotless and actually even though that I had cats uh, we had cats, there are only very few pools like this one. It's actually in surprisingly good shape, this shirt. I gotta say, here is a little mark on the side. But yeah, overall, really good shape. It is um, a very light material. It's not as ventilated as the um, red and black shirt that I saw. It's, a, it's much tighter knit. If you look at the material, uh, you can see it's not exactly see-through and if you look uh, close at the details let's see put it in the camera you see there is a little bit of ventilation but it's not much of course it's uh, odd the odd thing is that it's an xxl and why xxl well i got it um i think they had the new jerseys out the ones with the white collar and they were selling those but there was only xxl uh, left and it was a time when, you know, I'm always between L and XL somewhere there. Uh, it was a time when I got for, go, went for the more baggy look, XL, and for me, XXL, that was the whole big thing. Nowadays, I'm not sure if I would go XXL. But in this shirt, I actually look okay. And the cool thing is, in winter, I can wear this over a thick winter jacket, which I did uh, just a few weeks ago. So yeah, in that sense, it's almost my go-to Lusk jersey these days. Um, it is still the black and white stripes, it has a classic look. Um, I have good memories with the shirt, not with the next one, which I don't have anymore because I didn't see the reason of me getting the same shirt just with the white collar. And we got relegated in that one out of absolutely nowhere, to be honest. Uh, it was just too a uh, bad string of results paired with at the wrong time, and then we just couldn't get. In the decisive game we just couldn't get the result we had the lead and lost 3-1 at home in the last 10 minutes or so and if we would have not lost this game we would have easily made it i think we were relegated with the highest points total of any relegated team in austrian uh, league history uh, it was an absolute uh, freak result in a way and yeah but this started our big big at that time i think a uh, local tennis promoter took over and uh, he openly announced that maybe we have to go down a league in order to get healthy again. And that started a spiral uh, where for six years, I think, from 2001 to, yeah, from 2001 to until 2007 or 2006 7, we were in the second league uh, and Four years of those were dire, absolutely dire. And it was not the lowest point, but this was one of the lowest points. At that point, I went to America, and at some point, I really lost interest, which tells you how bad it was. But yeah, this is basically of that period, the last great shirt I want to say. I think the best player in that one was actually Sasa Udovic, Slovenian national player. Yeah. Let me know what you think about this shirt. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And also check out the playlists right here. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.